Howdy folks, it's Nito with Archer's Fair Box 2020 Outdoors Adventures. I'm down here in Cameron, Texas on a feral hog slash predator hunt. I'm down here with Howard. Hi. With hey Nito. Air 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 Airhead Outfitter. So tell, tell me about the Alaska operation. Well, we've been uh, flying in Alaska almost 15 years up there. I've been up there for almost 30 years. Um, and it just, we've got do-it-yourself type hunts. Uh, great caribou hunting and uh, moose hunting. You don't need a guide for moose or caribou up there. Um, we do take resident sheep and grizzly bear hunters also up there. We do flying for all kinds of things. We do summertime, we're doing fly out fishing in the summer, uh, spring black bear hunts and grizzly hunts too. We do combo hunts and then we roll right in and start into our caribou hunts on the north side of the Brooks Range. Uh, start up there about the 1st of August to about the 2nd or 3rd of September. And then we move all our base camp over to the south side of the Brooks Range and start our moose and we do some moose caribou combos in there and stuff on the south side of the Brooks Range. And some big moose and they can look at our website, you know, Arrowhead Outfitters, just Google us and or just look up uh, Alaska, just Arrowhead Outfitters, Alaska. Or w our website's actually www.arrowheadoutfitters.com. So. I'll, I'll put the link in the description yeah, of the video. Yeah. You guys can just click right yep. on it. Be I great. It right yeah, it's just... You know, they're, they're good hunts. We book hunts for Cabela's and Sportsman's Warehouse. Book with us also. Um, been in Alaska Outdoors, been in Alaska, Hunt, Hunt Alaska Magazine, and had numerous uh, shows on ESPN and stuff. And I've been in it a long time. I've been a guy and outfitter for well, almost 37 years. So, wow. Yeah. So I, I'm enjoying it. I've had a good good time doing it and enjoy it. And I still enjoy it and do the flying up there. I've got some guys that fly for me. We fly two uh, really uh, hopped up high performance small aircraft that are built to get in and out of tight places, haul big loads, and we're on floats now, so uh, works real well. The guys shoot a lot of caribou, a lot of book caribou every year, a lot of big moose. Um, we've always got more moose running around than we've got hunters for, so. So you got high success rates. We, we do, yep, we're running 100% basically on our caribou hunts, about 70 on the moose. So That's awesome. It's really good, really good hunts. And what kind of moose size? Uh, usually I keep guys in at least 60 inch and better. I wow. try to keep my guys in, yeah. So big bulls, we have shot bulls over 70 inches. And we have the three largest uh, wildlife refuges in the world. Actually, there's the uh, Kanuti National Wildlife Refuge up there. Yukon Flats, and of course the um, famous, the world's largest, you know, is Anwar Arctic National Wildlife right. Refuge. Everybody hears about the drilling conflicts and right. stuff in there, but there really isn't any when you get down to the bottom part of the story, but it's huge country. I mean, it's five, six hundred miles between roads and then even further in some places, so it's really big Secluded. country. Secluded. Yeah, it's wilderness of wilderness, you know, right. just the way I like it. I tell people it's over 200 miles between mailboxes. <laughs> it's just right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, so we really enjoy it up there, and good hunting, and and some of what I call like the last frontier, you know, the last good hunting, the way hunting's supposed to be. Right. You never see another human. A lot of places I don't think humans probably ever stepped, you know. Right. Um, just way, way out there with an airplane traveling 120 miles an hour, you can get out a long ways from the road in a short period of time. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, just for the do-it-yourself hunter and wants to come up and have a great success rate, you know, and just if they've done some hunting before and can cape an animal themselves and do the quartering and stuff because everything comes on your back. There's no ATVs up there, no nothing. It all comes out on your good old back and back to the camp. But a lot of times, like a moose, when we're on floats like that, if they happen to shoot a moose on the other end of the lake, they can just corner it up on the other end of the lake and we can taxi over there with the airplane. So it right. keeps somebody from packing a moose or a caribou all the way around to the other end of the lake. And then those lakes also, like on the caribou hunts, they act like big funnels. You know, we'll hunt a series of long, narrow lakes and they're just like a big fence out there. Not that caribou can't swim across water or lakes or rivers, but if they're not pushed, they'll have a general tendency to kind of skirt around the outside end. So we'll put the guys in the middle where they're between two lakes, and I mean, it's just like a big funnel. It's an awesome, yep. awesome pinch point. Yep, yep, pinch cool. point, exactly right. So it works out real good, yeah. So, all right. anyway, appreciate having you down. I had a great time. Thank you, Harry. Seeing all your products was just phenomenal. I had a great time. Maybe I'll come up to Alaska and visit you. You, you come on up there, we'll take good care of you. All right, thank you, sir. All right, you